Welcome to First Time Watching, today we are going to explain the ending of Ginny and Georgia Season 2 from the first episode, Episode 1 to the last episode, Episode 10. Spoilers ahead. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 1 Ending, Why Does Ginny Return Home? The final scene of Season 2 Episode 1 is Marcus scaling Ginny's bedroom window. They kiss while he maintains eye contact with her. Each other has been missed. Ginny explains to Marcus that her mother forced her to leave. Marcus consoles Ginny by saying that she makes sense to him. Marcus is invited to stay the night by Ginny. A flashback then occurs, seeing that Georgia is concerned, Ginny locks the front door as she dances with a young Georgia. As a man attempts to enter through the front door, she makes as much noise as she can. There's no room for interpretation in Season 2's premiere episode. The television show keeps a dark tone while reminding viewers of why we first fell in love with this tale. Why is Ginny's credit score low? Ginny is approached by Paul to have a conversation. He expresses regret about how the moving in news was mishandled. He declares he won't interfere with her relationship with her mother. Paul recognizes Zion is a good father and doesn't want to step in his footsteps. Then Paul says that there is a problem with Austin using credit cards. Ginny is perplexed by Paul's assertion regarding Austin, but Paul maintains that he obtained it from Georgia. Ginny finds that her credit score is poor after checking it. Credit cards in her name have been used by her mother. She walks over to Marcus's room out of frustration. She inquires as to his whereabouts the previous evening. Marcus provides her a private area to discuss because he is concerned about her. Ginny acknowledges that she sought him out in order to avoid hurting herself. She requests a joke from Marcus as she tries to identify the signs of stress. Ginny tightly embraces him before spotting Marcus' adorable sketch of her. Marcus eventually fingers her during their intense exchange. Does Georgia confess murder to Ginny? Ginny gets in the car with her mother and inquires as to the motive behind the death of her stepfather. Georgia explains that she did it for the family and for herself. She tells how no one was defending her and that she thought she had no other choice. In a tantrum, Georgia declares that she will murder for Ginny, saying, I took all the darkness, and I ate it. Ginny shouldn't be harmed by other men, especially her stepfather, she thought. Georgia's speech sums it all up. She gave everything up for Ginny and her brother, assisting with their care and transportation to school. She continued to do it whether or not she was viewed as a good mother. Ginny is prompted by Georgia to make a commitment to keep quiet. Ginny swears not to tell anyone despite having already told Marcus. They are in this together now, as the series tagline implies. The third episode of season 2 almost felt like it passed you by, but the closing scene completely hooks the audience back in. Ginny and Georgia season 2 episode 4 ending. Hunter and Ginny make amends to one another during the party for their actions. Hunter admits that he had feelings for Ginny. It was, in his opinion, his first love. Ginny confesses to Hunter her own love for him, but she makes it clear that it is just as a friend. Hunter advises Ginny to make sure Marcus is kind to her. Marcus informs Ginny that she want a romantic connection. They have a pleasant moment together before Ginny practices her BJ techniques. The party is then interrupted by the parents' arrival. Paul informs Ginny that they demand more of her. Paul tries to take on the role of the stepfather. Georgia is pleased with her daughter's fit of wrath and believes it to be evidence that she hasn't done too much wrong. Ginny is lying in bed, wondering why her mother committed murder for her. Thinking about that is keeping her from falling asleep. Her hands feel like they are covered in blood. Before self-harming herself, she calls her therapist because she feels on the verge of doing so. She acknowledges she isn't fine. Although Episode 4's clumsy chapter is partially compensated for by the emotive conclusion that Season 2 has relied on thus far, it falls short. 
Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 5 Ending What did Ginny's poem about Georgia mean? Starting at the neighborhood club is the murder mystery event. It's awkward since private investigator Gabriel is there and Paul is upset over the gun he found. Ginny, Padma, and Marcus attend an open mic night at Joe's restaurant in the meanwhile. In an effort to make Cynthia feel better, Joe uses the microphone to perform stand-up comedy. Ginny enters the stage and performs a poem. She reads aloud with enthusiasm. She is writing poetry when Georgia and Paul enter, which surprises her. In the poem, which describes Ginny's relationship with Georgia, she writes about going through pain in silence, acquiring sins, and becoming into the monster she was conceived from. Georgia sobs knowing what the words mean. Her daughter used a poem to publicly brandish her as a monster. For the mother and daughter, it's the sad conclusion of a chapter. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 6 Ending How does Georgia find out that Ginny self-harms? Georgia and the family share in the gift opening festivities on Christmas Day. The ideal wedding setting that Georgia desired has been given to her by Paul. Following that, Austin stands up and performs a magic trick for everyone. His wizardry skills startle Georgia and make her think of Gil. Then Gil appears and starts participating. Georgia doesn't know when Gil was released from prison, which has her perplexed. Gil confesses to Georgia his transformation in private. When he departs, Georgia must take a deep breath as she relives the horror. Georgia later discovers that Ginny burns herself after picking up Ginny's journal. In a flash, she calls Zion. She is taken aback by the knowledge Zion possesses and Ginny's involvement with therapy. Ginny confesses to her mother that she despises doing it and wishes it would end. A firm hug is shared between the mother and daughter. In her mother's arms, Ginny sobs, releasing all of her emotions. Some of these episodes' conclusions are incredibly impactful. The entire emotional spectrum was present in Season 2 Episode 6. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 7 Ending Why do they attend therapy together? Georgia throws a surprise bachelorette party at Joe's restaurant. Back in the past, young Georgia presents Gil and Zion with a birthday cake for Ginny. Georgia is having a great time with her girls back in the present. In response, Ginny receives an apology from Maxine for her absence. Gabriel, a private eye, then joins the celebration. He is reprimanded by Ginny, who also orders him to leave. Immediately after, Gabriel departs. After learning that Gil has abducted Austin when Georgia arrives home, she becomes terrified, but they both soon come back. Georgia examines her hidden weapon in the final scene of Season 5 Episode 7. It is palpable. It's not going to go well in the end. Even if Episode 7 of Season 2 isn't the finest, the action never stops. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 8 Ending Did Georgia Kill Cynthia's Husband? Maxine is thrilled with the performance, bringing us back to the play. A resounding success, indeed. She gives Silver a kiss. Bracia and Brian plan a date in the interim. Maxine is then greeted by Sophie. She compliments Maxine's performance and requests that they go get coffee. Maxine finds this confusing. Maxine and Marcus are at home when they hear what appears to be a gunshot outside their window. But who fired the shot? As we near the season finale, episode 8, one of the better episodes of season 2, brings plenty of drama and tears. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 Episode 9 Ending, Who Gets Shot? Georgia describes being ahead of the game as the reason she has endured this long. The wedding is called off by her via phone at the reception location. In Paul's arms, she cuddles up before going to sleep. A visit from Nick to Gabriel concludes Season 2 Episode 9. According to Georgia, Cynthia's spouse passed away gently, Nick informs him. Ears sprang up in Gabriel, Georgia may have murdered him, he believes. In order to report a possible murder, Gabriel calls the police after Nick has left. The events of this episode felt like they were walking on familiar ground in many ways, but they do help set up the Season 2 conclusion. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 ending explained. Georgia's arrest, what's the reason? 
The wedding eventually happens after that. Georgia and Ginny are picked up by a horse-drawn carriage. Paul is astounded by Georgia's beauty when she appears at the altar. This is a lovely occasion. Georgia is the object of Paul's undying affection. Ginny describes how fortunate she is to have experienced unconditional affection. She inherits it from her mother's affection. She thinks Georgia Miller's love is the most potent force. Ginny reveals to Georgia at the wedding reception that she was able to book the location for her by making some phone calls. Marcus and Joe, who cannot stand to see Ginny and Georgia, are forced to watch the wedding from the lobby as it is happening. Joe is informed by Marcus that she enjoys seeing Ginny smile. Finally, just in time for the first dance, both guys muster the bravery to enter the festivities. Joe watches as Georgia and Paul perform the first dance. Georgia describes how her daughter, Ginny, is the best and that she is superior to her. Unfortunately, Georgia's joy is short-lived because of the wonderful cliffhanger that comes with the Ginny and Georgia surprise in the season 2 finale. Georgia is taken into custody for the murder of Tom Fuller when Gabriel enters the room with the police. Paul promises to find her an attorney. Georgia's happily ever after appears to be in jeopardy. Austin, who was shocked to witness Georgia murder Cynthia's husband, tells Ginny that he did not inform anyone about what he saw. Ginny and Georgia's season 2 episode 10 gives us all the happy ending we were hoping for, but the cliffhanger is less than satisfactory. Hopefully season 3 will be released. Thanks for watching till the end we hope it was worth your time don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining movies stick around and watch our other recaps on screen see you on the next one.